Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Here we are with another lecture of classical mechanics in which today we will discuss about Hamilton Jacobi equation. So here we will discuss about Hamilton Jacobi theory, Hamilton Jacobi equation and also about the physical significance of generating function F2. We have already discussed about generating function F2. So here we will discuss about physical significance of generating function F2. Now first of all Hamilton Jacobi theory. So what is Hamilton Jacobi theory? In this method a canonical transformation is made such that the new Hamiltonian that is k is equal to 0 and this new Hamiltonian is the function of new coordinate, new momenta and time. And the corresponding Hamilton's equation of motion are capital QI dot equals to del k upon del capital P i equals to 0 and capital P i dot is equal to minus del k upon del capital QI equals to 0. And since QI dot is 0, so QI is constant and also here P i dot is 0, so capital P i equals to constant. In this way, according to the Hamilton Jacobi theory, the equations of transformation which relate the old and new variables are the solution of the mechanical problem. Now Hamilton Jacobi equation. Let a canonical transformation be made from a small p i q i to capital P i q i with h tends to k. So let a canonical transformation be made from p i q i to capital P i q i with Hamiltonian H tends to new Hamiltonian K. According to Hamilton Jacobi theory, if a new Hamiltonian K equals to 0, then capital QI dot is equal to del K upon del capital PI equals to 0 and capital PI dot equals to minus del K upon del QI equals to 0. Thus, capital PI and capital QI, it means the new momentum and new coordinate are constant with respect to time. Because capital QI dot equal to 0 and capital PI equals to 0, so capital PI and capital QI are constant with respect to time. Thus, capital PI and capital QI are cyclic or new momenta and new coordinate are cyclic because these variables are constant with respect to time. It means these are cyclic coordinate. Since the transformed Hamiltonian k equals to h plus del f by del t and k equals to 0 here. So h plus del f by del t equals to 0. So h plus del f by del t equals to 0 and h is a function of old coordinate, old momentum and time plus del f by del t equals to 0. Now h plus del f by del t equals to 0. Here f is generating function f. So this f is generating function if f2 is a function of old coordinate, new momentum and time then p i equals to del f2 by del q i. So we replace this p i by del f2 by del q i. Therefore h q i del f2 by del q i t plus del f2 by del t equals to 0. Now physical significance of generating function f2. Since f2 is a function of old coordinate, new momenta and time. 
So if we differentiate this F2 with respect to time totally, then df2 by dt equals to sigma i del f2 by del qi into qi dot plus del f2 by del capital pi into capital pi dot plus del f2 by del t and since capital pi dot equals to minus del k by del capital qi and this is equal to 0 also h plus del f2 by del t equals to 0 and from here del f2 by del t equals to minus h also pi equals to del f2 by del qi so we replace this del f2 by del t by minus h this capital pi dot by 0 and this del f2 by del qi by pi so d f2 by dt equals to sigma i pi qi dot plus del f2 by del capital pi into 0 minus h or d f2 by dt equals to sigma i pi qi dot minus h and since sigma i pi qi dot minus h is our Lagrangian so this is Lagrangian L it means d f2 by dt represents the Lagrangian so L is equal to d f2 by dt it means the total time derivative of generating function f2 actually represents the Lagrangian L thus d f2 by dt represents the Lagrangian of the system since L equals to df2 by dt and if we integrate this so f2 is equal to integration of L dt and integration of L dt is represented by s and this s is known as action or the Hamilton's principal function it means the generating function f2 represents the Hamilton's principal function since h plus del f2 by del t equals to 0 now we replace this f2 by s and also this f2 by s so h which is the function of qi del s by del qi and time plus del s by del t equals to 0 and this equation is known as hamilton jacobi equation this equation is a partial differential equation in n plus 1 variables and these variables are q1 q2 qn and time so this equation is our hamilton jacobi equation and this equation is a partial differential equation in n plus 1 variables and the n plus 1 variables are q1 q2 qn and time here we end our session in today's session of classical mechanics we have discussed about hamilton jacobi equation now goodbye